you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a little review slash kind of a quick video of the new NYX this is milky lip gloss line I'm so excited there are about I want to say eight colors I'm not gonna lie I didn't purchase all the colors I think I probably just kept off one and that was the blue one because like y'all I'm not gonna lie I wasn't about to purchase the blue one because I'm not gonna wear it and I'm not about to be purchasing makeup that I know I'm not gonna wear so as for the blue lip gloss I saw a couple of people try it on on YouTube and I was like I'm not getting that <laughs> because I was I already knew like I know me I know me and I knew I wasn't gonna wear it so it was a wrap so before I jump right into the video I want you guys to take some time out to hit the subscribe button don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video let me know that you're here let me know that you're watching go ahead and comment below if you think you're gonna try out these lip glosses or not and without further ado let's jump right into the video okay you guys so right now I have on a clear lip gloss because I wanted to give these glosses a fair chance so I do have a little moisturization going on on my lips right now but I'm about to take that off so I can go ahead and jump into the the first color okay you guys so y'all pretty much know the drill I've tried on lip glosses before on my channel um, I'm gonna show you guys the little bottle the container and then I'm gonna tell you guys how it feels on my lips and you're just gonna get to see what it looks like also I'm not gonna be trying on a lip liner with these glosses which you guys know sometimes liners make or break glosses at the end if I find a gloss worthy or two of a liner then I'm probably gonna try on like my favorite combo or whatnot so for my first gloss I have milk it pink and it is a super cute I mean this this pink gloss is like it's popping look at the bottle they come in this really cute frosted container I really love the container like Mm, I don't know I'm a sucker for packaging y'all know that so so here's me just opening the gloss here's the applicator and it does you guys look it looks so milky okay so let me just give it a quick smell I, I really don't smell like anything and I think I think it is supposed to have a smell maybe they all smell differently but this one doesn't really have a smell so if you don't like scented glosses because it kind of bothers you or gives you headaches I really don't smell anything so this might really work for you okay I'm so excited I'm about to try the first gloss out right now Okay, so you guys, I think, I don't know if I told you what the shade was, but the first shade is Milk It Pink, and I'm actually really impressed. I thought I saw some people trying these glosses, and it was looking a bit ashy, so that was really bothering me, and I was hoping that, you know, I wasn't going to get any ash-looking lip glosses, but I think this shade is really cute so far. I'm not much of a pink girl myself, but I'm not going to lie, this one is actually really pretty. Okay, so now we're moving into the next shade. This is a pretty, I would say, coral shade. It's called Moody Peach, so I love the name. I guess since it's like milk, they have the name like Moody, so that's really cute, Moody Peach. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to try this next color on, and I'm kind of nervous. I just, pink is scary. Pink is always scary. Y'all, I am shook because it is not often that you can get like a pink lip gloss and it doesn't just look awkward without a lip liner. Like these colors are not awkward so far, so far. I don't want to get, you know, too excited, but right now I'm, I'm feeling myself because I just was expecting a lot less, which is so bad, but I love this color as well out of the first two this one probably looks the best like I'm not gonna lie so up next I'm going in with this purple shade right here and I'm not really big on putting like those really strange colors on my lips so I don't know how I feel about this purple shade but it is called Lilac Splash and it does look like this I'm not gonna lie 
the packaging alone sold me on this and if it wasn't for the fact that the other color the blue shade was just blue I would have brought it just solely off the packaging but I probably will wear this one I like I have more faith in this one than I had in the blue one let's just say that so I'm gonna try this purple one on So I'm not going to lie, the purple one isn't my favorite one so far, but like I said before, I'm not too big on shades like this. If I could be honest, I would probably wear like nudes and browns all the time just because I feel like they really make my skin look good. That's just my personal thoughts, but every once in a while I like to dabble in like the reds, pinks, and I might wear this one if I'm just feeling, you know, a little out of character. But um this is probably my least favorite so far so i'm gonna jump right into the next shade so up next we have this really cute um i would say nude shade it's called milk and honey it looks like this up close and the packaging again is to die for like i really appreciate the amount of work they put in on this packaging so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try the shade on So this shade Milk and Honey for my skin tone I think is really a true true nude. It's so pretty. It's very classic. You could wear this like every day. Like this is not my everyday shade. You guys know my everyday shades are like those brown shades. But for normal people, <laughs> for normal people this would be like your everyday type of nude shade and it's really cute. Okay, so we have three more shades and we're about to get into my favorite, favorite tones. You know, the browns, the, the chocolates. So I'm excited. My next color or my next shade is Cherry Skimmed and it looks like this is giving me Dusty Rose. I really like the bottle, but yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be like a Dusty Rose color. So I'm excited for that because I love a good mauve. You guys you see this this is like this is my style like I love like a shade that just pops on my lips and like I said before this is like a dusty rose color it's giving me mauve vibes and I really appreciate that because a lot of the colors that I tried on prior to this shade were just a little bit too light and bright for me that's just my personal preference um, you guys need to let me know in the comments below if you guys like more of a light tone gloss or a dark tone gloss so I'm happy about this next shade. It is called Cookies and Milk and it looks like this. Um, just the bottle alone has gotten me hype. Um, I saw this color and it's really what made me purchase um, this color and the next color actually. They're the reasons why I purchased these glosses in the first place just because I saw the bottle and I was like they're cute and then I saw you know just the shades alone and I was like I need to get these glosses and see what they're talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and try on cookies and milk so I'm not gonna lie I know I look crazy however I have I have an image in my head and I know that I need like a good old chestnut or cork for this gloss so I'm not gonna put this one out for the count just yet I'm probably gonna try this shade along with the um, lip liner just because I know like I know this shade is just not gonna let me down when I put on my lip liner so here's cookies and milk and I'm not gonna lie this shade has got a lot of hate on the internet but y'all you gotta see the vision like you gotta see the vision for this gloss and I think I really think that you gotta give it a chance because I'm not mad at it it's, it's looking a little powdered zonutty but like I said but it just needs a good old liner so cookies and milk 
And for the grand finale, we have Milk the Cocoa. This is like a super chocolatey color right here. This is what it's looking like up close. And I'm just ready to put it on because I just, I just think this color is going to be bomb. Okay guys, this is definitely my type of gloss. I love like those browns. I don't know, I just needed to pop on my skin and I feel like these are the ones that are popping. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like these glosses that are like have the nude brown kind of undertones, they look the best on me personally. If you don't think so, then I don't really care. But just in my opinion, like I think they look the best on me. So here is Milk the Cocoa. Okay, you guys, so for my combo of choice, I went in with the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Chestnut, which is, you guys know, one of my favorites, and I went in with Cookies and Milk, and look, you guys, I told you, you just have to give it a chance. I think it looks really good. I think these two make the perfect combo, and all in all, I'm really happy that I did purchase all of these glosses, and I'm really excited about the ones that I got. I know that for a fact that I wouldn't have liked the blue gloss, because even the purple one was a little sketch for me, but but yeah, that's all the glasses I have to try on for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Let me know that you guys like this video. And also, if you want to see weekly uploads, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on those post notifications to hit that little bell. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye, you guys.